Hey, what's going on everybody? Christina again, back with another video. Today I want to show you one of my oldest bags. This might have been the first or second bag that I got when I started to uh, just get into the uh, the carry life, you know, um, the carry community. Uh, this is one of the gateway bags for me, so to speak. It's by a company called Sherpani, Sherpani, Sher Sherpani, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to be said. Um, but a lot of people sleep on this company. I think they're really cool. Lots of different type of bags, mostly or all, or, or for the most part, completely geared towards women, I believe. But, um, this looks fairly unisex. I mean, this is the carbon as they call it, or the black colorway of this bag. But anyway, you can check out the website. There's tons of bags, different colors, um, different sizes, but. This is the only bag by them that I currently have. And it's one of my favorites, and I'm going to show you why. It's, <clears throat> I think it's called the Soliel. Soliel. Anyway, I'll link it. But it's a 14 liter bag. It's advertised as a three way bag. So you can carry it as a briefcase, right? You can carry it as a shoulder bag, cross body or over one shoulder, or as a backpack. Now, you may notice <clears throat> you don't see backpack straps. I removed them. And I'll explain as we go why I did that. I just didn't like them there. I never used it as a backpack. I didn't like the way it fit as a backpack, but I love this bag. So I just cut them and tried to sort of melt down or, you know, burn the area where, where I remove them. It's nothing super fancy. I'm not a tailor um, by any stretch, but I love it much more um, with them off. Anyway, like I said, it's a 14 liter bag. Um, this is the black colorway. There's lots of different pockets, which I love. You'll also notice like the leather <clears throat> accents. The leather is super soft and I love it. It's one of my favorite things about the bag. So it's across the top and the front um, in the back as well. And then there's like these poles that I believe our leather it's not quite as soft as what you see here and on the handles um but it's just it's just accents it nicely there's a pocket here in the front which is lined with sort of this lime green on the one side of it i believe this is the rfid pocket i'm i'm 90 percent sure um there's a slip back here which I love. You can just throw things in, anything that you're sort of getting when you're out and about or that you want to grab easily that you don't necessarily need to be behind a zipper. That can go here. There's another small pocket here. This goes down to about here. So not all the way to the bottom. Um, <clears throat> this is lined completely with that bright green color. Great for like small stuff possibly your wallet but this is probably better for your wallet if this is the rfid section this i used to use for you know lipstick and mirror and airpods and small stuff like that mirror two awesome big water bottle pockets on the sides you can fit a 32 ounce nalgene in here a 32 ounce camelback um no problem there's two of them i love them because they just, I love the material. They stretch to to fit the bottle that you need. And if you don't, they're fairly um, sleek to the side. Perfect. The inside has organization. Awesome, okay. The back wall, this is sort of your laptop space. Fits up to a 15 inch. It is slightly padded, okay. There's also an internal water bottle pocket in here in case you need yet another pocket or maybe for your glasses um an umbrella or whatever the opposite side okay there's a key clip that hangs here kind of mm, i don't know if i want to say cheap but not super durable feeling but it's here um there's a slip pocket here sort of sort of fits my hand there's another one here that's padded. So like maybe it could fit like a mini phone or perhaps a standard iPhone. My 14 Max doesn't really fit in here. 
um, but it's padded, so it feels like it was intended for a phone. There are two pen slots also right here, and then the rest is just space, okay? Again, 14 inches, I'm sorry, 14 liters, and um, I, I just, I like that there's organization inside. Place for my pens, place for maybe a battery bank, my phone, a separate divider for my laptop, and then room for large pouches or whatever else that you need to carry. Um, I don't typically love bags like this that are kind of cavernous or, or tall, but because this has that bright green liner, it just makes me love it. I don't, I'm not hunting for things. I can see the stuff in there. I mean, there's no black hole, so to speak. Um, a huge plus for me. There is a top zipper, okay, that you can use as needed to close these two handles, like I showed you already. Flip it around. This is where the back, the backpack straps used to live if you didn't want to use them. I've removed them, like I told you. Um, <clears throat> but what you can do is at the bottom here, unzip this, and then you have a luggage pass-through. Okay, awesome feature if you want to hang this over your luggage. And if you don't, you close up the bottom, and then you have a pocket on the back for paperwork, maybe a magazine, maybe a tablet, whatever you can put back here. So yet another pocket with a Velcro closure. This particular bag by Sherpani also has anti-theft features. Not all of them do. This one does. I mentioned the RFID pocket. There's also over here, these little spaces where you can put the zipper pull, kind of pull it through the loop, and then it, you can't open it easily. You have to pull it through. This is nice if you're in an airport or a crowded space and you don't want to worry about someone easily getting into your bag. This zipper, same thing with the anti-theft um, piece on the end. The top, if you're wanting to, to um, secure that zipper, there is a little clip right here. So you zip the bag up and then you clip it on here. Now again, this is not supposed to be like the be all and end all of security. What it does is just a little extra deterrence so that nobody's coming by and easily just quietly unzipping your stuff. It's, it's secure there. I like that. I love that about this. And then again, this strap that it came with is completely removable. If you didn't want to carry it as a shoulder bag, if you just want to go briefcase mode, you know, tote mode, so to speak, um, or backpack mode. Again, I didn't like the backpack straps. I cut them off and I love the bag even more. But, you know, your mileage may vary depending upon how you like to carry a bag like this. What else didn't I mention? This shoulder strap was nothing to write home about. I mean, it came with a very small, fairly chintzy pad. This particular pad, it's like a suede pad, and this is from Tom Bin. This is, I, and I just, I bought this and added this to the strap. It adds a ton of comfort. If I am wearing this on one shoulder, or I, if I, I can extend this out, make it longer and wear it cross body, which I occasionally do. So that's the bag. I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Again, like I don't use this often, but I just cannot come ever come to the point where I want to move on from it because it just, it has so many things that I love about a bag in one bag. It stands up on its own. It looks sleek, it looks good. It has lots of pockets, good organization, bright interior liner, and it's versatile. I eliminated one of the ways to wear it, but that was after a long while of having it, and I realized I really just did not like the straps. They got in my way. They were not super comfortable, and I wanted to be able to use this pocket to store things 
and not have to worry about the straps being in there. So that's it, guys. I will link the bag in the description, and I'll try to also link the, um, the pad for the shoulder strap that I'm using, and you can check it out. Any questions, comments, please leave them below. And um, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you soon. Bye.